We got some cool looking marlins over here. The granders. Granders? Oh, it's not a marlin? It's a, re it's a replica of marlins, but it's called a It's a replica of marlins. The granders. Sure look like the marlins to me, so I don't know. Now we're going to head into the Fishing Hall of Fame area. They were caught in Australia. Pretty cool statue right here. Continuing our journey into the Fishing Hall of Fame. Which they got all the they got screens in here too that you can get some information on the different fishermen that have been inducted into the Fishing Hall of Fame. And they got plaques all along here also with names and faces. They got some pictures and letters and all kinds of goodies in here. Goodies. Goodies. goodies like food. Goodies or food? Uh, all kinds of stuff then in there. That's a cool... I'd like to have that in my house. That's a cool statue thing. And there's a boat over here. Old school boat. I mean, there's lots of stuff here. And we got this statue here of a guy fishing. <laughs> what? what? So we're gonna keep heading on. Oh, we gotta get the bottom of the fish tornado. I can't forget about that. But they do have this random lionfish statue. I mean, why didn't they put this by the lionfish tank? It says it's a lionfish reef and it's a statue of a lionfish. We would have thought they would put this by the lionfish tank, but. Here we go in three, two, one. Blast off! The bottom of the fish tornado. Pretty cool. What do you think? It still looks better from the side? It still looks pretty cool from the bottom though. From the bottom it looks cool. I don't know if you guys are picking it up, but we found the map puffer. He's hiding in the back. That's why I told you it could be by the reef. Pretty cool right here. I've never seen him from this view. He's really close here. It's a map puffer. I kept calling this stars and stripes, but. According to the information, it's a map puffer. Pretty cool seeing him this close. Now he's going to do it on the throat. I was like, he probably hides. Oh, look at this guy. He's right there. Is that a cod? Potato cod? Or is that the grouper? Potato cod like have potato the circles. Cod. Oh, the potato. like potatoes. Potato cod has the circles. That's so a grouper. That no, that is a potato cod. Oh, that one's got the circles, yep. Oh, the puffer just scared that one. The puffer's hanging out in the back. There's a fish right here. I don't know what it is. Oh, is there an eel right here? Yep. There's an eel back in this corner. A little view of the puffer. I usually like to give a few minutes when I see the puffer. My favorite saltwater fish, I would say, is all the different puffer fish. He likes to hang out on the bottom of the coral. Yeah, he's just hanging on the bottom there. Thanks to the wife for finding him. Because around front, we did not see him. Cool. Glad we got to see him. And as I said, we do go up and then we go down. So now we're heading up on the escalator. And then we'll head up on another escalator that goes up again, which is right above our heads. 
there's that huge whale hanging from the ceiling. And I don't usually spend a lot of time in this area. We usually just keep walking, but when I was president, there was always one sure way to escape the rigors of the job. Go fishing. Someone counted the number of fishing trips I made while in office. The official total was 54. That, of course, does not include a few that I made when no one was looking. Jimmy Carter. So, even the presidents like to go fishing. President Jimmy Carter naps between bites right there. Oh, you can't see it because of the light. Prime Minister Winston Churchill and President Franklin Dionlo Roosevelt share a moment. Delano, don't mind me. I'm a bonefish. Johnny Morris and President George H.W. Bush. Salmon fishing trips. So these are, this wall is like President's fishing. It is with a rod and reel in my hand that I tend to count my blessings. President George H.W. Bush. The seal of the President of the United States. And we got the Air Force one. Oh, but not here. This is the United States of America, the Bass Force One. So pretty cool. We usually end up, especially with the kids, always just bypassing this. It's just a way to get up to the next level, but this is pictures of all the different presidents out fishing, catching fish. Senator John F. Kennedy. Set up with a sailfish. President Bush. It's pretty cool. Escaping the everyday life with some fishing. Now we're going to head up the next escalator. And then we will be at the top of this huge aquarium. We were just down there at the bottom. Now we're heading up. Puffer was hanging out at the bottom. Glad we got to see him, thanks to the wife. The wife found him. She's on the lookout for me. She knows I love the puffer fishes. And the aquarium hours today are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Maybe we'll see the baby octopus. Maybe we'll see the baby octopus. We'll see. We are at the top of the aquarium where the green sea turtles are. I already forgot their names. Izzy and Pam. There's Izzy. Izzy's cruising along. But yeah, we'll walk around to the other side, the other panels, and you'll see we are at the top of the entrance tank now. You'll be able to see the entrance from the top, and there's a shark on the wall. Watch out for the sharks. Take a kid fishing. You'll be glad you did. Johnny Morris. Man, there we go. Oh, there's a shark right there. There are sharks in this tank. But as you can see, through the tank, that is the where you enter the aquarium. So now we're at the top side. Let's see if we get the see the giant stingrays swimming around too. We caught Izzy, the green sea turtle swimming. Why are they called green sea turtles? I read, I read when we entered there that green sea turtles are called green sea turtles because they have green skin under their shell. It's not because of their shell, it's because of the skin under, under their shell. The shell. I did not so know when that. it swims around and you see it, you can see it has a hint of green right here under its shell. Under its shell. I did not know that. The sharks are out swimming around. This guy right here is a shark. I used, always called it a hammerhead shark, but it is not a hammerhead. kind of looks like one. I don't remember the name of it, though. I don't know, but it smells a little fishy right here. It smells fishy right here? I was waiting for the green sea turtle to come by. The stingray. Let's keep walking. There's a few different panels we can see here. Though I don't know what those big silverfish are called. Big silverfish. Yeah, if anybody guys. knows, 
Yeah, look at these guys just chilling right here. Together. But that, that, I think that they had that one, but these guys, they almost kind of look like a tuna, but it's not a tuna, I don't think. I don't know what those ones are. They have a lot of those ones in this tank, but we didn't see them on the screen. I don't know where this thing really went. These guys are like just not moving like those two. They're just hanging out by each other. So we're going to keep our journeying around. And this is the Fishtails Cafe over there is outside of the aquarium. So if you need a bite to eat. And that's where we got our refillable drinks. We remembered them. Which are good for the lifetime of the cup. And it's free refills. So yeah, right down there is where you walk into the aquarium. And now we're up top. There's a giant boat. Oh, something's down here. Oh, the shark. Oh, the zebra shark. Zebra shark. I had to... Oh, there's a stingray too right there. There's a zebra shark is actually swimming. That's probably not the big stingray that we see swimming around. Could be though. Taking a chill. Check out that zebra shark though. So pretty. Maybe that'll be my next tattoo. I think that has to... Zebra well, shark! I think those... That has to go out of water. No. That's mine.